Saturday, the 16th of May, 2020, week of Easter 5. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The reading, C.S. Lewis, 1898-1963. The terrible thing, the almost impossible thing, is to hand over your whole self, all your wishes and precautions to Christ. But it is far easier than what we are all trying to do instead. For what we are trying to do is to remain what we call ourselves, to keep personal happiness as our great aim in life and yet at the same time be good. We are all trying to let our mind and heart go their own way, centered on money or pleasure or ambition, and hoping in spite of this to behave honestly and chastely and humbly. And that is exactly what Christ warned us you could not do. He said, a thistle cannot produce figs. If I am a field that contains nothing but grass seed, I cannot produce wheat. Cutting the grass may keep it short, but I shall still produce grass and no wheat. If I want to produce wheat, the change must go deeper than the surface. I must be plowed up and re-sown. That is why the real problem of Christian life comes where people do not usually look for it. It comes the very moment you wake up each morning. All your wishes and hopes for the day rush at you like wild animals, and the first job each morning consists in simply shoving them all back, in listening to that other voice, taking that other point of view, letting that other larger, stronger, quieter life come flowing in and so on all day, standing back from all your natural fussings and frettings coming in out of the wind. We can only do it for moments at first, but from those moments a new sort of life will be spreading through our system because now we are letting him work at the right part of us. It is the difference between paint which is merely laid on the surface, and the dye or stain which soaks right through. He never talked vague, idealistic gas. When he said be perfect, he meant it. He meant that we must go in for the full treatment. It is hard, but the sort of compromise we are all hankering after is harder. In fact, it is impossible. It may be hard for an egg to turn into a bird. It will be a jolly sight harder for it to learn to fly while remaining an egg. We are like eggs at present, and you cannot go on indefinitely being just an ordinary, decent egg. We must be hatched or go bad. Mere Christianity. The Prayer Henry Alford, 1810-1871. O God, who has commanded us to be perfect as thou art perfect, put into my heart, I pray thee, a continual desire to obey thy holy will. Teach me day by day what thou wouldst have me to do, and give me grace and power to fulfill the same. May I never, from love of ease, decline the path which thou pointest out, nor, for fear of shame, turn away from it. Amen.